So guys, the past few days, the market has really been taking a beating from these whole coronavirus threats and the idea of it becoming a mass pandemic. People are freaking out. They're cashing out on stocks. It's making the stock market drop. Um, but I'm not worried about that. You know why? Because I'm steadily getting paychecks from Robinhood, from my dividend uh, my monthly dividend account, my monthly dividend investing account, should I say. And in February, the shortest month, I got six paychecks from stocks I own, from dividend payments, guys. So let's go ahead and check out my Robinhood dividend portfolio. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel for a, another video. Um, thank you for returning to this channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And by the way, I am Michael Romero, um, small time YouTuber, small time investor, just trying to do some big things and help you guys out along the way as I'm climbing the ladder. Do me a solid and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps a small channel like myself. It tells YouTube, hey, uh, this guy's doing a good job, so we need to reward him. <laughs> and that always helps me out. It actually helps me help you, if that makes sense. It's a give-give situation, a little bit like that. But guys, um, I know that most of you, most people watching, matter of fact, most people in general that are invested in the stock market, their portfolios have been dipping because what is it? The past two or three days, uh, the Dow has been down around 2,000 points. That is quite a bit. And that is just over the past two days. Now, over the past four or five days, it's been slowly climbing down because of this whole coronavirus thing. And um, people are just freaking out, understandably, because we don't want another pandemic or another epidemic or anything like that. And uh, <clears throat> it's just really freaking people out. Not only that, the ramifications of this virus is so strong because it's shutting businesses down in parts of the world that are very um, important to businesses that are on the stock market, such as, such as Disney, such as many, many electronics companies are based in China, manufacturing companies are based in China, which make a bunch of goods for the United States and the rest of the world, which therefore, if they're shut down, they're not making any money. So people aren't buying anything over there. People aren't, you know, spending money with them. So it's it's not it's not good. It's it's a it's kind of like a rocky thing. You know, this happens and this happens. It's a domino effect, basically. Um, but I am not worried about it because my dividend portfolio, um, I lost quite a bit almost all my gains over the past four or five months since i've started this but i'm still getting money from my dividends that's the whole reason behind getting a dividend investing account is when not necessarily the whole reason behind but that is a it's kind of like a defensive um maneuver right so the stock market slides you buy quality companies coming from the stock market quality companies that we know aren't gonna cut their dividend in a recession or more likely to not cut their dividend in a recession. So you buy these companies, they may slide in value, but they will still pay you every month or every quarter just for owning them. That's the magic of owning a um, dividend stock or having a dividend portfolio. But guys, look, let's go ahead and jump into the um, portfolio. So guys, as you can see here, we're down, what, 10 bucks, 12 bucks, 10 or $11 on the day. I was up quite a bit, 1.40%, but <laughs> scares happen and it kind of shot me down. Over the last week, I'm down 5.87% because of the scares happening from the coronavirus. Uh, which is $194.65. Over the past month, I'm down $194.85. $94.85. And you look at this here. You can see this here. Just a massive drop off. Boom. Over the past couple days. Now, over the past three months, I'm down $120, which is roughly 3.7%, guys. 
but this is a great time. The whole stock market is basically down. This is a fantastic time to buy stocks on sale today. Um, unfortunately, um, I don't have a lot. Of, I didn't have a lot of money in my cash account, my cash balance, but uh, I will be adding more money to it and hopefully jumping in on this cash grab of these stocks that are on sale. As you can see here, Ford, I'm almost down $100 on Ford. Um, let's actually see how much I'm down. 20%. Sweet. That is awesome. Uh, but really, though, I'm not too worried about it because I'm getting great payments like this. Look, like $7.50 coming up next month. Actually, March 2nd. But it is still a great time to buy in on this low on these all-time lows i'm down on sphd i bought one share of that today actually unfortunately that's all i had in my account but it's okay I'm down on mj i'm down on pfizer i want to get more shares into that and i'm down on psec i want to get a lot more shares into that at this reduced price down on verizon and iberia bank i want to get I wish I had the funds in the account to buy at least, you know, three or four of each of these or the higher, the higher price ones to really cut my cost down um, on dollar cost averaging. Oh, I have 1.01 shares, um, PSEC 31.23 shares, AT&T 5.05 shares, Stag 5.04. AGNC 11.09. This is all from reinvesting the dividends I got from this month back into these stocks. And that's what I plan on doing and continue to do and do and do so my money can grow exponentially for me. We call that what? That's not simple interest, but that is compound interest. One of the greatest tools you can have on your side, <coughs> excuse me, on your side um, when it comes to investing. But guys, let's hop into the dividends and show you guys the paychecks I got for this month. Like I said, I got six of them. Um, this is the shortest month of the year, and this is the uh, least amount of checks I got paid so far. And I'm going to show you guys how my money has been growing on this chart in the background in a little bit. First, let's go over the dividends that I got. February 3rd, I got paid two dollars and eight cents for owning four shares of AT&T and that's 52 cents a share and as you can see here I don't have enabled dividend reinvestment yet I probably will enable it but for now I'm just having fun manually reinvesting the dividends uh let's see next we have AG&C <clears throat> uh, now AG&C is a um, investment corporation that's actually still holding weight still holding its own uh, because of the coronavirus. So it's, I'm actually not in the red on this one, but for owning 11 shares of AGNC for, on February 11th, huh? what is that? That's a, a coincidence maybe. Um, but for owning 11 shares on February 11th, I got paid a dollar and 76 cents. That's roughly 16 cents per share. And this also got reinvested back into AGNC. Everything that like, let's say if I get, I'm reinvesting dividends um a like at and t's dividend back into itself agency's dividend back into itself and being that i have to have at least a dollar to reinvest let's say see realty income for owning one share i got paid 23 cents on february 14th i'm invest i'm rounding up to the nearest dollar anything under a dollar so 23 cents if it's 99 cents i'm investing a dollar if it's one cent i'm investing a dollar if you kind of get what i'm doing there okay next we have stag stag industrial um i actually am going to buy several more shares tomorrow of this because I'm, I'm putting some more money into it tomorrow hopefully hopefully the market is still trending down a little bit so i can grab these at a much better price because i definitely want to uh get a lot more shares of this bad boy. This is one of my, this is a company I think is gonna do real, real great over the next couple of years. But on February 18th, for owning five shares of Stag, I got paid 60 cents, which is roughly 12 cents a share. Now, February 20th, I got paid a dollar and 50 cents for owning 25 shares of PSEC, Prospect Capital. That's roughly six cents a share, guys. 
And yes, this got reinvested back into itself as well. And guys, as you can see, I still have one pending for February, February 28th, SPHD. For owning 10 shares of SPHD, I'm getting paid $1.58, which is getting reinvested back into itself. But I think I may have already did that. <laughs> I think I might have got uh, a little giddy and was like, ooh, reinvest back into itself because I see what's coming. Um, but that's roughly 15, 16 cents a share. And they are growing every month. I think I'm getting a little bit more every month um, amount per share. Matter of fact, let me check what I have you guys on screen. So that was, so January is 15, 5, 6, 1, 5, 5, 6, 1, 5, 7, 8. So yeah, every month they are going up a little bit, which is what you want. You want them to raise, not every month, every quarter, but you want them to, to raise their dividend. That's the whole idea of dividend growth investing that's why it's dividend growth investing you get it um but so guys those were my six um but anyway guys those were my six checks i got paid from robin hood for doing absolutely nothing just for doing a little bit of research and buying these companies now um before i let you guys go i want you to check this out so as you can see here this was september i got paid three dollars and one cent October, I got paid $5.15. November, I got paid $5.77. And this was December, I got paid $16.14. January, I got paid $12.33. And February, which is this month, it is $7.75. Now, as you can see this exponential growth here, expect it to happen again after this. Um, see it's going down slowly, but it's going to level off and then come back up again. And it's going to continue to do that until I either buy more shares of stocks I own in these or, um, buy more stocks and different companies to kind of fill in the gaps of where I'm missing, um, money from guys. So this month I got paid $7.75 and the biggest I got paid last year was $16.14. Um, I cannot wait to see what March brings. I, I know March is gonna do better than $7.75, but I can't wait to reinvest those dividends, guys. That's what I've been waiting for. But look, I'm gonna let you guys get out of here. Um, anyway, guys, look, um, if you enjoyed this video, please, please hit that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm, guys. Um, it really helps the channel more than you guys know. And listen, guys, I wanna get to at least above 400 subscribers by March, the end of March. So if you haven't, if you're still watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that red subscribe button to join this family we got going on and to help me reach my goal of above 400 by the end of March. I know that it is still February, but my goal was to hit around as high above 450, I'm sorry, 350 as I could. Uh, Cause I had a goal of 350 and we made it. So I made another goal as high as 350 as we could. But we hit that guys, let's hit my next goal for March, which is above 450. I'm sorry, above 400 guys. Anyway, look, I'm gonna get out of here. Um, if you wanna continue your journey to financial enlightenment, go ahead and click one of these videos. Guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. I'm a, I will be forever grateful. All you gotta do is click that red subscribe button. Look, I'm out of here, guys. Thank y'all.